Welcome to the Advanced Hobby Lab. Sorry I haven't posted anything in a while. I've been dealing with a few electrical issues stemming from the servo controller board that I purchased. Now this is the Adafruit 16 channel PWM servo hat. I actually really like this board. It's a really nice board. It has this uh, nice prototyping area with a perf board already built in. It has a 5 volt, a 3.3 volt and ground connected to the perf area that's connected to your Raspberry Pi, so that's very convenient. I was able to power the Raspberry Pi by soldering on a terminal block and connecting a, a small piece of 24 gauge wire from the terminal block to the five volt pin and uh, connecting the other pin to ground. So that allowed me to power the Raspberry Pi, making that very convenient. Uh, this board also has isolated circuits, so now the power for powering the Raspberry Pi is completely separate and isolated from the power needed to power the servos, allowing me to power the servos with a different voltage, different amperage than what the Raspberry Pi requires. This works except for the fact that, as you can see on the board, it's rated for 5 volts and uh, 5 to 6 volts DC. I am actually using 7.4 volts. I am powering everything from this battery. It's a two cell LiPo battery that's rated for 7.4 volts. Uh, problem with LiPo batteries is that they tend to have very high discharge rates. That's why they're popular. It even says right here on the packaging that you may or may not be able to see. It says high discharge right there on the battery. So that is essentially the problem that I'm running too much current through this board. How I'm powering everything is by using a buck converter. Now this is a cheap buck converter that I bought off Amazon. It's currently configured to output five volts DC at around two amps, which is perfect for powering a Raspberry Pi. I ended up soldering on with some more uh, 24 gauge wire. I also then connected some additional wires that are just soldered on in parallel to the battery. Now these will be used to power the actual servos. So now these servos can be powered with this 7.4 volts and the Pi can get its uh, a much more reasonable 5 volts. So I can then connect them to these terminal blocks on either side. Uh, the problem being that since I'm connecting the power for the servos just directly in parallel to the battery that tends to run a lot of current and power through this board. And since it's only rated for five volts, this board can't quite handle it. Uh, looking at the schematics, there's not much in the way of this board. It has a single MOSFET and an optional uh, capacitor. I figured I could run higher voltages and higher current than what's rated and still have this function correctly. And it did work for a while uh, running only a few servos it would work but once you get all 12 servos running then this board starts to heat up and you start to have problems so on the opposite side you can see I actually burnt out a few of the physical traces on the PCB and I tried to repair them with some more 24 gauge wire just soldering to try to bridge the gaps of the burnt areas and I did manage to uh, fix it appropriately except here there's also a MOSFET that ended up burning out. So once it burnt out, the MOSFET was shorted. So I had to remove the MOSFET. Got it right here. So that's garbage now. And now since this circuit is open to make this, uh, this work with powering the servo pins, I then bridge the gap directly soldering from the terminal block directly to the servo pins using some more 24 gauge wire. Now th this does work, though it is a little risky to do it this way. There's no protection, uh, uh, no current limit on this. So it's basically direct, uh, connecting the servo pins directly to the LiPo battery, which can be dangerous if I connect the wrong uh, voltage of battery or wire this up incorrectly. I could end up potentially burning out all my servos. So that's not something I'm particularly looking forward to. So I'll try to be careful there, um, but this will work. This does work. I can now power all my servos. As long as I wire everything up correctly, I can power all servos and everything can be happy. 
So if you found this helpful, please give me a like. And if you would like to see more development in the future on my Spot Micro, be sure to subscribe. And thanks for watching.